light my cigarette? My character's in peril because, oh, a match? Come on, guys. Come on. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Italian coastal town of Sapienza, where our client, La Ventura Pictures, is shooting a superhero epic based on the cult graphic novel, The Icon. Your target is Dino Bosco, the film's director and leading man. A washed up character actor, Bosco sees the icon as his big comeback. Unfortunately, his rampant perfectionism and complete disregard for the budget has left La Ventura on the verge of bankruptcy. Still, he doggedly refuses to wrap the production. La Ventura cannot fire Bosco without violating the contract. That is why they have asked us to retire him before the whole studio goes belly up. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Today's shoot is already in progress. For the sake of authenticity, Dino Bosco's icon costume is genuinely bulletproof. He does, however, insist on doing his own stunts. So, I suggest you take advantage of Murphy's Law. Good luck, 47. Hi there, welcome back to Sapienza. Yeah, you might not have expected that if you have no idea about how this game works, but indeed, we are in the first bonus mission, the summer bonus mission of 2016 for this game. And it's just a lovely little spin-off uh, using a different, lo different uh, utilizing a different location for Sapienza. And this place is the, um, the initial courtyard that you start. There's Caruso's mansion. And, uh, but as you can see, it's a little bit different. So, Dino Bosco, our target, the director and the main lead of this horrible action film, is practicing a, a rather elaborate scene. So, let's just watch it, first of all. Oh, man. Looking good, I sir, but due right to increased security, yeah, I can't you know, I hope it's set too high. So, they shoot Bosco up into those teeth and just chew him up. <laughs> You in a positive mindset today, or what? I just want this shoot to end. I mean, it can't happen anyway. You know, while the mechanical brakes are activated on those teeth. Yeah, you might want to go up to the head and double check. You know, let's just make sure. <laughs> Will do. And there we have it. Basically, Dino is running away from some fire-breathing uh, reptile robot thing and does a leap, dramatic leap across some rubble that explodes, and uh, there's some crazy alien thing. But as you heard those t uh, stage and tech crew people, uh, apparently those teeth might need to be inspected because the grinder, the grinder might be not working properly. Um, so uh, that might be a possible end we got. Now. There's differences about this map. It's not the same as the original Sapienza in that you can't go into the cafe, for instance. It's sanctioned off by the movie crew. And there's a QA session being set up for Dino Bosco and fan art stuff and all sorts of things. It's, it's, it's nice. I really like how they did that. Plus a different time of day, which you can always appreciate. And if you may have noticed, we are back in 47's original iconic suit. Is Dino Bosco. 
no, I guess Dino is warming up to the fans or something. So, as such, as a bonus mission, these are a little bit smaller, a little bit shorter, so that's nice. We can at least um, kind of figure out what we're doing here. So, what we need to do, though, is get an outfit and start getting onto the movie set. We can't do too much as a suit, and... One point of entry, an easy point of entry, is into the cafe. However, we got uh, some guy kind of bothering us right now, so we might have to... That red tie, smashing. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> thanks. Um, but since I like to try to do this without being uh, using utilities and, and stuff, I like to not be able to complete the mission without with just a default loadout, at least for the first time for the, for the Let's Plays. So... Not having a lockpick, even though I technically did bring a lockpick uh, lock pick with me. Not having a lockpick means you'd have to get into this building this way. And that's exactly what we just did. So I think this is kind of neat. Um, I also want to bypass the security camera. So we'll get a nice... <laughs> it's a little different take on, on infiltration, I guess. We could just go lockpick our way through and start right there. But this is kind of cool. Also give us a little bit of a survey of the of the scene here. As you can see, it's uh, quite a quite a... Quite a little bit of things going on here. You can see tech crew working on things, the sound stage crew working on pyrotechnics, and um, the effects crew working on the mechanical teeth and the gravity ramp that makes him that propels him over the rubble. Yes, all these things are possible ways to take care of Dino and his own private trailer at that. And indeed, that private trailer we are going to take a little peek in there because we want to kind of want to. Um, Get Dino. We want to rub it into Dino as most as best as possible, and uh, I think we'll we'll achieve that. But first, let's like use our pistol for like the first time in this entire series, <laughs> and just to shoot a camera down. Okay. However, the pistol in this game can be used much like a tool, and I like that. So we actually are going to do that. We're going to lure a guard in using our silver baller pistol, and. It's it's something you can really use to manipulate the cycles and walk paths of the NPC, which is pretty much the whole point of, of trying to do complicated setups. So let us throw our gun down right here. I purposely put it angled more to the right of this door because I don't want this guy to see me when he comes in. Rip a, whip a coin out, and uh, we're gonna do a definitely gonna do a save here. Okay, and let's. Uh, See what we got. There's the security guard that's going to be our poor victim, and we're going to toss a coin. He's going to see the coin, but he's then going to see the pistol, which is going to prioritize. So that's... Hopefully he won't see us, because the angled pistol's to our left there. Hold your breath! What the hell is that? What is that doing here? I don't know what it's doing there. That's quite interesting. Why there's a pistol laying there, huh? Oh well. Take a snooze, man. You've been you've been standing guard long enough. Give you a, a rest there. <laughs> All right. In our first costume, security guard, which basically gives you full access to the entire map. I would say, yeah, pretty much. Fairly certain about that. Get my coin back, and we're good to go. And now we can enter the. Um, stage proper here. Very good, Bosco. I'm purposely explaining how this uh, works, the uh, the scene, because we're going to manipulate the scene, and so once you know how it works, it's going to be cooler. Alright, let's get up into the trailer really quick. We want to go in here because we want to get something in here, and that is Dino's car keys. Perfect. Now, we're actually not allowed to be in here, even as a police guard, so we're going to quickly head back. Okay. And that is something you can do if suit only. You can fiber wire Dino inside the trailer. Um, I'm not going to show that because, well, I, because I'm not going to, that's why. Okay, so now, what we need to do next. Like I said, this is a short mission, but I guess uh, it's a short mission, but there's plenty of things to do. And um, one way we can get Dino as an accident is by using the pyrotechnics stage. And to do that, you need to locate the pyrotechnics override code, which is found in the trailer by the front of the set. Next, distract the special effects crew member and switch the system to manual. 
Now head to the back side of the set and grab the pyrotechnics remote here. Finally, as Dino hops over the rubble during filming, trigger the premature explosion. And I actually like that, except uh, the way we're going to do it, it's just, it's just simply more fun. It's my favorite way of getting him, and that's just definitely the way we're going to do it. Uh, one thing I have to say about Dino is that it is hilarious how egotistical he, he makes himself. It is so funny. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's entertaining, to say the least. Uh, so we're going to get a soundstage crew. Uh, we're going to make sure that the coast is clear, which I think it is right now. Sometimes you gotta act really quick, because there's a lot of pe peering eyes in the corner of things. Alright, the next thing we're gonna need is a screwdriver. As you can hear the pyrotechnics beeping, that, uh, as we've seen, that everything is at play here. That's the beauty of this. And honestly, a movie set for a Hitman game is, is something that you just would expect to happen. And while I still would like a more full-fledged one, and not a, just a simple bonus map of a rehash of the map, it's uh, it's still appreciated. It's definitely still appreciated. Now this gets a bit tricky, uh, but first we're going to sabotage the teeth themselves. As the sound effects crew, we are allowed to climb up the ladders onto the stage here. And uh, as you can see, there is the grinding metal teeth. Yes. Looks pretty vicious. And well, we're going to... Sabotage the retractable blades. Okay, and as you can see, the stage is getting set, but that's not all. No, we still have to do something else, and this is the uh, bit of the timing slash puzzle element of this map. So hopefully we do it well. It's going to be a bit tricky, but we'll, we'll see if we can do it, and uh, then that will be a wrap. I mean, this is not a super long mission, like I said, and there's plenty of enforcers for the tech crew back here. That's the problem. So I've got to be very, very careful. Okay. Now, right here, we can increase the pressure of the air ramp, which will propel him straight up, you guessed it. However, the problem is, is that when we do that, this man over here, right here, is going to monitor this ramp. If he sees this going haywire, he's going to turn it back off before Dino jumps. So we need to time it when Dino is ready to um, launch over normally. He'll, co he'll come around and berate the sound effect crew about the air ramp. That is when we'll make, we'll, we'll perform this, this, the hit here. As you can see, this guy is in our way. Okay. So he's currently in his trailer and... Um, This should work. Now this guy doesn't walk away fast enough for my taste. So what I need to do is, after the next cycle, I need to once again lay my gun down. So, and actually, I'm going to lay down the Vitorly I got from the security guard. He's going to inform a security guard, and if, if for whatever reason, he doesn't go to this one. He goes somewhere further away. And that will give him, that'll make him run far away enough that he will not see the air ramp by the time Dino uh, jumps. The reason I explain that thoroughly is because it happens very quick, and I want you to kind of understand what the hell just happened. So we want to sabotage the air, air ramp, it will propel him up to the sabotage retractable blades, and, uh, well, you can guess what's going to happen after that. And uh, being a little sadistic as I am here, I'm going to try to give you a first-class uh, viewing of his uh, demise. So we'll see if we can make this all happen. So again, it's pretty cool, you know, I like it. And I love the way this is set up. This is a slightly higher wall, so that man right there can't see me if I'm waiting patiently for the air ramp to go off. So I think uh, I have to see where Dino is here. I think he's probably about ready to, uh, there he's coming out of his trailer right now. So he's about ready. So the next time he cycles back and over here, I'm gonna drop that pistol. Hopefully the guard doesn't see it before he does. And um, that should be enough. And hopefully Dino doesn't see it before the guard, uh, the sound effect crew does. So yeah, a lot of explanation for this map. Again, I just don't want to be like, what just happened? So let's take a look at this monster. I've actually never seen this poster before. Left side, front, front, back head. Description. And I wonder if that text actually says something. Is everything rigged correctly? I mean, you almost killed me that last time. This is a money shot. That means expensive. And we put this gun right this time, or you're all out of a job. Got it? All right. No pressure. Let me 
me know when you're ready. Okay, we're about to start shooting. I don't want to have to come look for you, okay? All right, let's do this. Oh, okay, it looks like, uh... Actually, that works. That works. He's not going to jump yet. Yeah, he turned around faster than I thought he was. So the next time this guy goes down here, I'm going to plant that gun. But i got to do it in a way that he won't see it with his peripheral vision. It's a pretty crazy setup, I think, to do this smoothly. <laughs> Listen to Dino. <laughs> He's so funny. All right, he's gonna jump over and berate the team. This is when we're gonna do it. When he berates the team is when I'm gonna drop that gun. He doesn't go to go to that car for some reason. It's weird. Okay, is the ramp ready and tested? I, found this I don't want any mistakes now. Try not to get my I way. want this take. Yes. Understand? Please. Okay, we're about to start shooting. I don't want to have to come look for you, okay? Stay focused, Damn. people. We're gonna drop one more coin to, to, to screw up that guy down there. Actually, maybe even one more. <laughs> we don't want that ramp to be sabotaged again. Go. Here we go, guys. Let's see if we did it. I do not think Dino is all right. And there it goes. That is one of the more horrific ways to kill uh, a target in this game, I feel. It is extremely dastardly. Uh, I like it a lot. <laughs> um, but time to suit back up. In and out, just like that. And as you remember, we stole Dino's boss key. Or Dino's bo Dino Bosco's car key. Let's make sure the coast is clear here, okay. Right. And I just want to say that I really like this mission, how simple it is, and how you can just go back into your suit and just calmly stride away. Always my favorite. Now, since these missions are smaller, I don't want to reveal too many methods because there's not many. Well, you already shared one way to get him on the set. Like I said, there's a QA session that Dino can have, and a cool, fun way to take out Dino is... By taking the free kitchen staff clothes, you can spike the water bottle on the QA table with emetic poison. Next, head to the circular window halfway up the tower. With a silenced gun, aim at the tech equipment to sabotage the stage. Alternatively, you can find a movie crew outfit and manually tamper with the equipment there. Dino will then decide it is time to do his Q&A session and walk over to the setup table. He will fall ill after he drinks and will head to the porta potty in the back alley. When no one is looking, give Dino Bosco a grave review. And I like that because you can set all of the, the uh, stuff up and then just simply wait with all the rest of the fans. Um, it's pretty cool. I like that. 
But the other thing now is we're done with this mission. Like I said, it's a nice break from the super long missions we've just been playing. Um, we'll get back to that next time. Don't you worry, or uh, I don't know how you feel about this, but that's just how they are. Um, now, that was two methods and a really my favorite way of, of taking out Terra Bosco. That went pretty smooth, I would say, uh, for the most part. Now, since we have Dino's key, we can go ahead and steal with his ride. Awesome. The other thing is that this music, apparently it played in the beta, I guess, of the prologue training mission, but I don't recall it being the one played. So let's listen to this in full. This is the only time this music plays for this victory. So let's hear it out. I'll see you guys on the other side. Turn it up. Alrighty, Silent Assassin, Dino Bosco is killed. <laughs> and I love that name, Bosco. I can only think of uh, Seinfeld with uh, George's George Costanza's ATM pin. <laughs> um, I never knew that was even a chocolate sauce or syrup <laughs> until that that show. But anyway, just fantastic. As you can hear, the um, the voice actor of Dino Bosco. I believe was going to be the voice actor for Agent 47 in Hitman Absolution. But instead through I think either protests or last minute decision making, David Bateson was again signed on for that and this man who plays Dino Bosco was not. So it's hilarious when they say that David Bateson should have been cast for this and he's never been part of the franchise because that's absolutely the total opposite and so it's a lovely uh, a lot of comic a lot of comic relief it's a very humorous type of mission this guy's not necessarily evil or bad which i like it's a person this company is like we want to get rid of this guy he's going to make us go bankrupt i can't violate the contract by firing him kill him it sounds like that's something that could actually happen and it's just it's neat that you could perform these type of hits. It doesn't have to be like these global terrorist ringleaders all the time. So that was fun. A nice little break, I guess. But next time we're going to a new location. For sure, we're gonna be rocking out with our fiber wire out. Like I said, we're going to a hotel, a very nice hotel. See you guys next time. <laughs>